Good morning, guys, in Rust. It just turned morning. Beautiful day on this server. Uh, today, as you can tell, potentially by the title, assuming things go to plan, I want to build a secret solo forest base. Now, you might have seen a forest base a couple videos ago, a few videos ago. We, we wanted to raid them. Unfortunately, our, our cave got raided before we could, but we still had a good wipe anyways. And that gave me the idea, why don't I build something like that? Why don't I build a base in the forest with turrets that's just unraidable? And as you can see by the map, there's a nice forest right there and right there. So there's a couple good forests. There's also probably plenty of forests around launch. Like there's going to be a bunch of spots for us to build. So that's the plan today. I don't know. It's rust. You can never really plan it out. But as always, as tradition, it's time to get started off with an early oil. It is midday in real life right now so it's a nice it should be a nice calm start and hopefully a nice calm wipe i don't want anyone to find my base i want to build in as dense of a forest as i can near launch site and keep it hidden i'm pretty sure actually i have the, the yeah i have the the green rug skin so i can actually hide my my base rather well plus i have the shipping container skin we got a lot anyways Let's get into it. I don't know. Enough yapping. Let's get some cards. Let's get to oil. Let's get some loot. Oh, I guess one more yap. One more yap. Uh, there is a shop down here. It's decent. Thompson for 300 sulfur. So you can see the prices there. And they're selling ammo. Like bulk ammo. So uh, I think I'm going to take advantage of that. There's like no shops on the server for some reason. I don't know what kind of sign that is, but it's a sign. That's a sign that I need to start farming sulfur. Yeah. All right. Now we're done yapping. Let's go wow we're like two minutes into the video and we already have a farming montage look at that sulfur that's that's enough sulfur for like four guns that's hype all right editor super fast for our montage like five seconds all right i farmed four sulfur nodes i think i've done enough farming for the entire wipe Whew. That was hard work. Didn't even have a jackhammer either. That base is either being built or decaying. Actually, it looks like the exact base that we raided on Force Wipe. In the if, if you guys are like avid Blaze fans, you'll you'll get this reference. In the snow on the high qual quarry wipe with Fred Plays Poker. They had like shop windows on top of their base. I'm pretty sure that's the same exact base. Here's the decaying base right here. Funny moment. Please. Oh, bag on the ground. Um. It's a promising little start for a small guy. I'm gonna leave a marker. Lorb. If we come back, if we get some rockets, I might have to be back there and raid that. Because they got a mini... And they're kind of by missile silo, which is like every time you raid a missile silo base, it's always loaded. All right, we got a green card. Uh oh, it's not good. I'm dead. Back to the beach. Gotta hit a headshot. I can't see him. Ugh. Well, maybe he doesn't loot my bow. Maybe I shouldn't have shot. That was not a good... Should have just been in a better spot. Go run back. It's a good sign, though. You got, like, some solo roamer bonehead on the server. Like, if I had crossbow nail gun, I think there could have been a play there. Potentially. I'm not gonna promise, but... You know what I'm saying? It's a good sign. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's see what uh what got what got taken from me. Really not a whole lot of value. I think my my bow got taken though. It's all right, I get it. Got my tier 1 back even. It's not all too bad. 
me just get another bow and we're back on track. I think for blue, this map is kind of bad for cards. So for blue card, I'm going, oh, he took my sulfur. That's fine. Ah, uh, I guess we must farm again. Um, I'm going to buy a blue card from Outpost or uh, Bandit probably. And then go farm red and then get the guns and go with oil. That's the plan, team. It's a bit of a farmer start, but I've, uh, I'm not going to lie. I've been wanting one of those lately where it's just chill, a chill start. I needed that. I hit a landmine and died, but I had, I'm just running back to my body, but I had to hit the record button because look at this house, dude. What is that? The triangle house, bruh. It's armored on the back too. That'd probably also be a good raid. There's some good looking raids on this server. Oh. Oh. Well, speaking of raids, I guess. Oh, maybe he F1 kills. Damn, full barrage just got shot off. It's going straight for the snow. Okay, I don't want to hit another landmine. I think there's like a landmine field here. Like some guy's being a dickhead. I jumped over that landmine and then immediately proceeded to hit another one. I gotta go check out abandoned military base though. I'm thinking he potentially F1 killed and there might be like a, usually they just bring like a tier two gun or something. But hey, if I can get that, I'll take it. No, I don't think they're gonna F1 kill cause he's HMLMG. They probably brought a mini. I mean, maybe I could make a play. Like if I had like a DB, honestly, if I had a gun, I could, but I don't know who MLRS is and then clears out abandoned military base. I feel like, dang, okay. If I find as many, I could try for the Ioka play, but I doubt I'm gonna get there in time. Who shoots off a full round of MLRS and doesn't go to the raid immediately? It's another good sign though. Yeah, they didn't even bring a mini. I wonder if I should just follow them. Bruh, what the fuck is that? Dude, what is that? That guy doesn't have a helmet. That guy's in a hazmat suit. That guy has an AK-4X wolf headdress. Okay. Well, that's our competition on this server right there. Man, if I had like a dude, a SAR, I think I could have maybe won. All we got to do is hit outpost, get some firearms or a firearm, and we are golden, baby. We got ourselves a horse. I ended up with 360 scrap. Uh, so I'm going to buy some things in outpost, get those weapons, get a card. We should be good to go. Let's get this card. And then we got to go farm a red card, but that's cool. Alrighty. Let's purchase from dude 400 sulfur for a jackhammer is actually so worth it. Um, do I want a SAR or do I want a pistol ammo gun? I think I'm gonna do a Thompson. I think I'll definitely do a Thompson. Cause I could get a decent amount of ammo for that. That's pretty worth. And I still have 200 scrap left over. So I guess I'll just get another thing of ammo. Kind of wasted scrap there, but that's fine. I'll buy some low grade and then we'll go get red card, get a boat, get going. We are on track team. We're doing good. And I'm seeing a bunch of gear guys. I'm very satisfied so far. My Amazon package is here. Thank you, Jeff Bozo. Boom. Uh, what? My Thompson came with a... <laughs> Well, I guess I don't need the binoculars anymore. I got binocular on my gun. All right. I'm going to go ahead to power plant. That's always a guaranteed red card. And then we'll get a boat and go. It is nighttime or turning nighttime. So not going to be able to see much, but I'm going to put a bag down here just in case I die. Wishful or not wishful, not wishful thinking, unwishful thinking. I'm ditching my horse. For a mechanical one. Ooh. Homing launcher. I might be able to scare off a mini with that.
Alrighty. Got our red card. And an airdrop. Ooh, this might be the wipe. All right, I'm just going to finish up recycling here, get a boat, and head off to oil. The question is, do we want to do large oil or small? Large is in the snow. I'm fine with doing large. I could do large. Bro, look at this crossbow. You are a frog, and it's just got... What is that, dude? Couple of boats here. And a big base. Alright. Let's get out of here. Look at that cliff base. That's actually cool. I see all the bottom scientists, but I don't see any up top. Okay. We got scientists up there. We're good. I was a little worried like someone hellied on or something. Which could still happen. So, there is someone's sunken boat. Drop the box right here. Potentially loaded. Let's go. You might not like it, but this is what efficiency looks like. I'm leaving that bottom leaving the dock guy on of course I'm getting 5-5 five five all of a sudden leaving the guy on the dock alive so that way you can't boat up or swim up I think this oil is going to go very smoothly I got a good feeling about it First elite crate was not very good. Second elite crate. Decent. I can't loot any of this, man. All right, let's call it in and hope that we survive. I got one bullet left. Time to switch. I'm glad I kept the crossbow. I forgot to record, but I looted some scientists so far. I got nothing. Just ammo. Right, well, we got an MP5 for scientist when I start recording. It's that YouTuber luck, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but so far, besides the MP5, not so good. Not great. I'm hoping the crate is to come up. I think I'm going to throw out the tier one, probably the wood. And a green card. Um, at least we got some ammo. 
We have not been countered yet. That is. Called an airdrop. Uh, I got a bunch of HEs. That's what I was saying, but I forgot I wasn't recording. So not bad. Couple of explosives, you know. Seven HEs is pretty good. Airdrop coming in. Crate. 30 seconds left. Life is good. Um. Well, the airdrop was uh, interesting, I guess. I don't really want any more of that. All right, let's see what we got out of the crate. Open for AK. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> that is a crate, huh, isn't it, guys? Yeah, I think we're going to go do Smoil. I think, uh... I think we'll go do that, because... This is ass. What the hell? What kind of fucking crate is that? Alright. Too small. That is such a bad crate. Oh my gosh. Alright, it looks like we're the first people to smoil. Both the oils have been getting taken pretty repeatedly. I don't know if it's one group that's just taking it or if it's, uh... Bunch of different people, but we'll see, I guess. I would like an AK, though. That would be very nice. The scientists are acting so weird on the server. Okay. Why is there three guys in there? I think scientists are bugged on this server. All right. Ah. Bad elite crates. Bad crates so far. I mean, I got that airdrop, but... Bad scientists, bad crates. Bad day. Let me go depot in the boat. Call this thing in and... Get working on some progress towards the base. All right, please be a good crate. Ah, uh, they are bugged. All right, easy enough. Please give us an AK. It's 1% chance. That, that's not... Another armored door. We're gonna have a secure base this wipe. No AK. Hopefully this crate does this right. Here on oil right now, chilling, enjoying the sunset. Look at that plain sunset. Someone took Brad. Look at that Brad spot. That's crazy, huh? Isn't that a crazy? Who takes Brad there? Dave takes Brad there. It's a Dave spot. That's a Dave spot. I got a good feeling once we get on land. This server is going to be so good. I'm currently listening to Frank Sinatra my way. And this is, this is beautiful. This is just, this is just, the ending of the song just hit. You can't hear it because it's copyrighted. If you throw on Frank Sinatra my way right now, you'd understand. Anyways, I thought I'd update you. No one's come to oil. Kind of a shame, but the crate is up in one minute. And then we'll go on land and start rolling. I hope. I just gotta find like a nice forest. That's all I gotta do. Maybe around that water monument. We'll see. Heli just came in. Crate unlocked and it's another pretty awful crate. The hell, man? 
All right. All right. I'm just going to call on this airdrop here and then get on land. I'm probably just going to wait on oil. Oh, isn't there a timer now? Well, we might not get this airdrop. I'm going to wait on oil as long as I can for daytime and then uh, we'll head in and hopefully get this airdrop too. I hope I didn't just waste it, but whatever. All right. I got to figure out what to take, what to leave. I'm definitely going to want that turret for sure. I need the tools. I think this is what we're taking. It's what we got. It's kind of scuffed, but it's gonna have to work. All right. It is the morning on Rust. I, I'm, I, this video is like a vlog or something, dude. I don't know what, what's going on. It's the morning. Airdrop. Bye. Give me a C4. Bruh. We're getting some whack-ass loot on the server. This the server is some whack ass loot. All right, whatever. Let's go to our base location, our potential spot. So this is like a water monument or whatever. It's like a water pump. No one builds by it. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. And usually they're in like really thick forests. That's just kind of how they spawn. So I'm gonna go check that spot out. The problem is I have all my loot on me, and. If I die right now, we are back to the beach, literally. Well, I have a bag, but you get my point. If I die right now, we're busted broke. We don't want that. We do not want that at all. So I need to make it my main goal not to die, obviously. I'd like to get the rest of this stuff out of this boat. It's kind of a lot, but that might not be an option. We're going to try and make it to our base location. I got my tools. I got everything for a decent little base. So that's what we're going to try and do and try not to die. We got a tugboat parked in the safe zone. Naughty, naughty. It's probably with that base in the swamp up there, though. But I kind of doubt it has a lot of loot, but maybe if we get some boom, there's potential. Guys, guys, I've got to check for loot. Oh, there might actually be loot. There is some loot potential. Are these jeans good? None of them are that good. I, I honestly, I shouldn't even say that because I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, wait, I need that so bad, actually. Okay, what I need to do is park the boat, run to my build spot, stash, and then come back and get that stone. That's a come up. That's like almost a fully built base. I don't think I need a very big base this wipe. I think just like honestly a two by two. It might not even need honeycomb either. And I know that's a crazy statement, but because it's in the forest and it's going to be so hidden, I don't know if we're going to need honeycomb that badly. I just really don't want to die right now. That would be tragic. Oh my God. There's a guy, there's two guys up there going exactly where I'm going. Like, ah, uh, get out of there. All right. We just got to be careful. This forest is looking promising. Dude, no shot. Somebody built a big forest base right there. I don't think it's going to really impact me, but it's kind of funny. Oh, no. Fuck. Oh, brother. What am I even supposed to do about that? Like, seriously. Oh, dude, I need all of this so bad. I gotta hope that that clan is not online. Dude, let, get me into the forest, bruh. Okay, right here on the road is looking pretty solid. Like, right here? Oh. Uh, maybe up here. God, I gotta, like, stash this and then... Oh, God. I just guess I just have to hope no one finds it. 
Yeah, right in here is literally perfect. Oh, no. Oh. I cannot build this close to the launch site. This is still good over here. Right here. Okay, hold on. There's a guy with a bolt going back probably to get his body. Or maybe that was a turret, I hope, but... All right, I just have to remember where I put this. Yeah, that looks like a good forest to build at. Because I don't need a huge footprint, so... I can just build a small little fella. Yes, he's not looted. Let's go. Okay. Um... I'm locked in right now, team. Okay, here's the spot. I'm liking this. Can honeycomb if needed? Cool. God, guys, this is this is cursed. This is the most cursed two by two I've ever built. It's fine. It's gonna work. Did I just get found out? Oh my god. Okay. Alright, well at least a majority of our good loot is inside of a home. That's kind of like the bare minimum, but, you know. I need to get some more stone, and then we should be good. I think my neighbors are online. That's bad news. There was not much stone, but I got enough to upgrade the base. Uh, what happened to my building? Uh, I got enough to upgrade the base at least. Yeah, this it needs to get upgraded, bruh. This base is cursed, but it's fine. We're we're killing it. We're killing it right now. I don't even have a workbench. I gotta figure that out. That's okay. Everything should come a little bit easier now. Hello. Hello, guys. I had to uh, go AFK IRL to take care of some uh, some stuff, but uh, actually... <laughs> seems like I got back at literally the perfect time. Um... Apologies, I had to, like I said, take care of some IRL stuff, but we're good. Um, someone also just activated Excav, too, so I think we've got a couple events going on. Um, what is going on with this mini? Bruh. What? All right, I might just try and take a long route around to Excavator. Try and grub it, I think. 
That was an epic fail. I think that guy was just raiding a mini base. That's probably what just happened. All right, well, excavator's been activated. Let's just go there. Maybe we can cop a kid or two. I'm hoping. Oh, hazmat guy right in front of me with a pistol, I think. All right, I think I'm gonna turn on burst mode for this one. Okay. Well, I was wondering where he went. What is this? Oh, great. Oh, it's the village where they don't believe in meds. Oh, shit. <laughs> what was that guy gonna do, dude? Gonna throw his rock at me, man. I'm gonna recycle before I hit excavator. I've successfully evaded the revolver guy. He he's he's got no no idea. He's slightly confused. It'd be funny if I headshot him right now. <laughs> that works. It is turning nighttime, so if I can manage to wait just a little bit, and I can grub excavator at nighttime, that might be, like, that might be clutch. I just have to hope they're not very vigilant. I'd like to stash these hazmat suits, and honestly, that stuff. Alright, just remember where that is. I already forgot where that was. I have a guy sitting at the tippy top. It doesn't really help them as long as he doesn't see me. If I can get a kill and he has like AK, I could kill that guy up top easy. I think I'm going to wait at this depositor. I think I'm going to wait right here. I don't know if this is the spot to really sit, but I could probably even kill that guy up top with a SAR. I shouldn't peek. I just need to play sound cues. It's coming back. So there is a few of them. It's kind of risky. He could one shot me. I don't know where that guy who incense bolted me is. It sounded like I got shot by some guy who was closer. What? I see him. I fucking suck, dude. What the fuck? I suck. Those guys kind of do too, though. Do I have another kit I could go back with? Because I think I could actually win. Oh, I have night vision too. I think I could win that. At night, with night vision, I think I can win that. Okay, I do not have silencer BP. Let me go back there. I think I can win that. I don't think they're going to expect the night vision... The night vid, like, look look at this night right now. It is pitch dark. They're not gonna see me, bruh. I want that AK. I think I should just camp here again, to be honest. Okay. I think he had night vision. Okay, we gotta re readjust here. Readjustment time. Oh, do we just go back to oil? What do we do? Both oils are down. What do we do? I mean, I could try and hit a roam, try and kill some guys with like Azzies or something. That might not be a bad idea. I think we're trying to bite off too large of a 
Excavator is only really doable as a, or like counterable and stuff as a solo when you have like bolt and things of that caliber, which I do not have. But I do have a SAR. Yeah. Oh, I have some neighbors. They look like they have cheese. As you can see, we have a good roam kit here. A great roam kit. Basically, I need to hear gunshots before they see me. Otherwise, I'm dead. I mean, look at this damn gun I got. What the hell is this? If I killed someone for this, I'd make fun of them. Now all of a sudden, I'm using it. Maybe that speaks volumes of me. But, nonetheless, I need to hear or see them before they see me, and I could get the kill. And once I get a kit, we go get more kits. I think I'm going to loiter around launch site. Launch site and airfield. I'm going to do a bit of loitering. Feels like, I'm, like, like for, for all the Rust players who play Tarkov out there, I'm like a naked M4 guy with, like, no attachments, hoping to make a play. I don't know why I felt the need to make that comparison, because you know what I'm talking about. I'm a naked Rust guy trying to make a play on a geared guy, but I just find this is, like, hilarious. This is sad, but it's funny. The ups and downs of Rust, you know? I don't want to yap too much, but a lot of you guys said you wanted to see... Well, a lot of you guys said you wanted to see, like, more progression. Like, I, I agree, too. It's not fun if I win every single fight and every single time, and you edit out all the losses and shit. But that's part of YouTube. Like, obviously, I don't want the whole video to be boring. It's fun to see, like, a come up, and then you fall a little bit and come up. I think it's fun. Not, like, linear, you know? I wonder if I should just wait at oil. Because oil's been getting done, I'm telling you, the whole time. Except when I was on it. People didn't show up. But if I'm having trouble finding stuff on land, I might, uh, I might just wait at oil. There was a crate that dropped airfield. I could go there, but by the time I run up there, I don't know if it'll be finished. Oh shit, he's in their building right now. Oh, he's fully kitted. Wait a minute. I could try and wait for him to leave. Because he's going to have to go farm at some point. Or go out. Look at that guy just... Dude, oh my god. If I had, like, Dave or Llama here and some ladders... Not eat, do some wood, I could get in, but... This base is very easily griefable. 2c4 and I can grief it. And, like, really ruin it badly. He's finishing up with the roof, which means that he'll probably come out soon. It's like a National Geographic show. Like, I'm just watching this guy build. He's thinking right now. He's thinking really hard. Okay, that's probably his teammate. I need him to come up here, though. Shit. I don't even care about the farm. It's the kit and stuff that I need. I think he's going to come up this pathway here. Yep. He sees me. Fuck. Oh my god, dude. This is bad. I'm fucked, actually. get his gun um. Fuck. This 
is so bad. No. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, this is bad. This is actually, this, this wipe has turned south very quickly. All right. I think, well, I do have 800 scrap. I mean, it doesn't really help, but I guess I could just buy a blue card. That's like kind of it. I think we're, uh, we've been kicked back off to oil. I think that's what we have to do. I have to stop, you know, playing risky for just a minute. Get back on our feet, get ammo and meds. It's kind of boring, but uh, it's what has to be done. So I'm gonna go to outpost with 400 scrap, buy a blue card, get some other materials, like some clothing and stuff that I need. And uh, we'll head back out to the high seas. I should have waited till that SAR guy was, or the, the first guy was further away. I just, I thought he saw me. So turns out he didn't. All right, <clears throat> I bought a card. I bought smoke grenades for ammo. Guy coming in a mini. What if I can steal it? Get a little bit of low grade and there's no way he just landed up there. I fucking fell. Are you kidding me? Dude, this guy's a bonehead. Let's see if he's an actual outpost chat or not. Does this kill you? They're trying to bait me out. Ah, fuck it. I'll take it for the med, dude. I'll take it for the med. I sold myself out for a med, but it's fine. I, I had a chance and I, I kind of whiffed. So, it is what it is. You know what they say? You know what the saying is? If you can't find any bots, then you are the bot. And that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm not finding anybody who's the bot. Like, I'm the bot. We gotta, we gotta whip it into shape, y'all. And I am. I'm working on it. I'm gonna head up to train yard. I just need a fuse before I get there. And get a card and get going. Again. We're getting back on our feet. We're recovering. Slowly, but surely, I guess. Feels like I've, it's been like a decade since I've run train yard. But we're here. Take the large furnace. Oh my god, dude. Million green crates. I'm gonna have to depot before I go to oil. Just kidding. Give me that red card. Let's go to oil. Well, we'll recycle and then go to oil. Potential money find? Right off the coast of Smoil. It looks like this was a raid. But they did not have enough. Oh, that's unlocked. The guy's name is 2x1 Enjoyer, but he's living out of a 2x2. Two two. Maybe I just leave this here. I'll take the metal. 
but I doubt people are going to realize that that's unlocked. And I'll probably, if I could get like three rockets, come back here. He does have a tier two. He's right off the coast of oil. So doesn't seem like the worst idea ever. That is so pretty, dude. Look at that oil rig in the sunset. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Call him in, buddy. All right, I cannot see anything. I do not know. Well, we got a GL. I think I have like 10 HEs in base, so. I literally don't know if there's more. I'm pretty sure there is, but I gotta wait till daytime. I cannot see shit. Okay, these heavy scientists were ass. Another one where we didn't get a single gun. What is this? A charity? so hard to get an ak on the server bro what is this dude this storm water is crazy Alrighty, we're up here, we're out here, we're balling. Is that guy swimming? I swear I just heard someone swimming. And again. But that dock scientist should shoot if there's a swimmer, so. What the fuck? I don't know why I just got pushed by all of them.
Bruh. No AK from the elites. God, man. Help a poor guy out. Help out a hustler, man. This shit is ass, dude. That locked crate better have an AK in it. Otherwise, I'm about to get serious. All right. There better be an AK on one of these. I swear to God. I'll be pissed. There isn't. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Yup, we're back. We're back in the game. All right. I, I honestly, I don't know. I'm talking. I don't know how having an AK changes anything. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Shit's still rough at home, dude. Uh, I don't know. I guess I need a mini. I think that's what I actually need. AK's still good though. I don't. I feel like an idiot. God damn it. I'll take another one, though. Oh, LR. Not bad. I'm happy. We got an AK. Alright, hopefully the crate's good, too. There is still that uh, oil base that was, like, decaying or raided or whatever. I just need three rockets. Wait, how many uh, GLs is a garage door? It's 22 HEs. I definitely don't have enough. But I could probably get some satchels and HEs. I doubt I have satchel BP or bean can. Yeah, I don't. So, um, probably expo ammo. If I use my HEs and expo ammo or I get some expo ammo, I'll definitely have enough. But, or it, like, it'll be easy. All right, we got eight minutes on crate. I need to recycle all my comps. I might just recycle all the comps that I have and go straight to uh, Bandit Camp and then buy a mini. I think that's what I'll do. All right, let's see what we got. Brother. Uh, uh. All right. I'm telling you right now, oil is not what we need. It, it, that is brother look at that guy that's me right now looting that oil crate that what is he doing actually <laughs> yo i take that back dude <laughs> yo that is a crazy rust pose uh no that's not me right now actually that's uh <clears throat> my bad i didn't see him before you know what i'm saying <laughs> All right, let's go recycle and get a mini. That is crazy. That is fucking wild. I think I'm going to recycle at Outpost, probably. It's actually close to the water, close to some train tracks. See, the problem is I don't want to leave all this stuff in the boat. That guy's turret is off. I hope these guys aren't on. I got to leave all this stuff in the boat, but I don't want to. Um, to be fair, I don't really need the rest of that. I mean, I'd like it, but I don't need it. All right, let's go recycle all this. This is going to be like probably like 1500 scrap at least. So that'll be good. And then we'll go buy a mini. And I think things are going to start to heat up. It's like actually late at night IRL now. It's like 1 a.m. So server's kind of quiet, but that's good. I think we could just focus on building the base, getting it done tonight. And then tomorrow, like getting guns and shit. We'll probably find like some decaying bases or counter raid or something tonight. Like I'm going to keep playing, but we'll see what we could get done. Hopefully quite a bit. All right. We actually ended up with exactly 1500 scrap, but I just spent a hundred on low grade. Not that anyone gives a shit, but, uh, I was right. I was right. I knew it. All right, let's go buy a mini. We'll go buy a mini and then I need to farm. Actually, it's, I need to get a jackhammer. We'll farm metal so I can make my base green and, and hide it. And then we'll set up turrets because I have a windmill and I'm pretty sure I still have that turret in base. I actually have turret BP on the server, so we're good too. Um, we'll set up turrets. 
And we should be good. All right. We got our mini copter. Baby steps. My cave neighbors have set up a brand new shop where they're selling a pump shotgun for 200 scrap and a hazmat suit for 200 scrap. Oh boy, that's worth it. It's a good deal. Okay, now I'm going to work on getting a tier 3. That's, uh, that's what I'm going to work on. Getting a tier 3 and getting like one more rocket and I can raid that oil rig base okay where the fuck is my base uh this is gonna be a problem a little bit my house still stands though look at this guy i want to go take heli a hundred percent we gotta get this heli take I don't have a lot of meds, but I could potentially do it. All right, let's go fly to airfield. I hope that's not where it's going. Kind of is though. I just need to take it somewhere where I don't need to use a bunch of meds. Gas station. Airfield is perfect, but it looks like I've already missed out on that chance. I have to hope another clan doesn't take it i have enough ammo though I and mean, i could just follow it till it goes to a monument that i like all right it's going to ferry terminal i think i'm going to take it from this gas station it's not perfect but it's gonna have to do it's positioned decently pretty open and we're in the tier one zone so i hope that there isn't going to be really geared guys that counter my shit. Alright, I'm tagging it. It did not give a shit. Oh, it gives a shit. Are you kidding me? Why is there just some guy in there? I guess that's the risk you take. Taking heli in a random monument, but I... That account looks weird. That account seems very odd to me. But dude, that fucking sucks, man. Are you kidding me? What the fuck is he doing in here, man? Maybe he died, but I don't think he did. Definitely did not. Oh my god. Bruh. He didn't even take my mini either. That's so disappointing. I'm stuck up here with the mini. I gotta push this thing back to my base. Guys, I'm gonna see this wipe through. But you're seeing the raw unfiltered stuff. That usually I kind of can cut out most of the time. Or skip around at least. So the video is more entertaining. But uh, for all those guys that always sit in my comments and actually think I script my videos. This is how like, say like half of my wipes go. And usually I just throw them out. Typically what I'll do, I just literally will throw the wipe out. That fucking blows, man. I just thought about it. That heli could have had like C4 rockets in it. We could have raided that oil rig base. God damn it, man. Anyways. Yeah, for all those guys that sit in there and they're like, oh, you spawn in loot. Like, I, I, I don't know what it is, but there's actually people in my comments that think I, like, just admin spawn shit. Or, like, pay actors or something. God, is this where he lives? Can you hear me? I heard you. Hello, hello. Hello? Did you kill me in gas station? Was that you? Can I use your refinery outside? Well, I don't think he wants to give a fella some low grade, so. 
I'm just looking for low grade. I've made a little friend. God damn it. What am I supposed to do? A guy cannot win here. This is the unluckiest wipe ever, but going on a little rant, whatever, before uh before I met this guy. Yeah, this is like an average wipe that usually wouldn't make it into a video. Because I'm solo and this is probably gonna be a semi-long-ish video, I figure why not? You guys get to see the whole painful experience and hopefully there's a come up. Definitely before the end of tonight, I wanna raid that. I wanna raid that oil rig base. I just, I gotta get boom somehow. Heli was like my only chance, at least for two hours. I guess I could get a tier three. If I still have my mini, things are okay. It's not bad, but I really only need one rocket. That's all I need. I don't even need that much. 62 low grade should be enough to make it back home. I can't believe there's just a guy sitting in there. That's insane. I'd get it if it was like a pump or like a pipe shotgun. He's MP5. Why did I have to die to him? That guy left his top door open. I gotta land this thing, bruh. I'm pretty sure that guy left his top door open and doesn't know about it. Time to investigate. Wait, there's no lock on that. Dude, what the fuck is going- He's sleeping right there. Uh. That loaded? Okay, hear me out. It's nine HEs for a metal door. I actually think I have like 20. No, I don't know how many exactly I have. I have quite a few. Let me look. I don't think he's online. And I know I want to raid that oil base, but that base does honestly have some potential. I have 12 HEs. I could actually craft a rocket launcher too and use my rocket launcher. <laughs> I craft a rocket launcher in his base and use it to raid him, which I can do. This is definitely kind of a risk. I mean, I don't even have meds, but I can go through, I think, two doors. I need to bring the rocket with me. I could go through, I think, two doors, which might just be enough. I, I mean, you never know. That's all we're going to say. You never know. I'm leaving my own doors open. This guy seems like a bonehead for sure. But if he's got a tier 2 placed upstairs, this might be cope. But doesn't that mean he has a tier 3 placed downstairs? Isn't that kind of how that works? This guy built his shop in his tea Like, it's decaying. Because he, he didn't put it far enough away. I don't know. I'm willing to risk it. It's risky, but history is written by the victors. Uh, dude, I, there's three types of locks in this base. You got code lock, key lock, no lock. Like, I'm so confused about what's going on. But it's a good sign that the wire seems to go right in there. And he's sleeping right here. So I'm hoping that maybe we can scrounge up enough. And he's got, like, some shit in here. Nine grenades. And I have... I'm gonna wait for the rocket, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe I should use the grenades first. Okay, dude. What the fuck?
It seems like a troll. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, there was no tier 3 that I was searching for. Let me get a door on this thing. There's a tier 2, though. And there's a lot of mats. That's actually good. And it, I didn't even have to use all my boom. Which is even better. There's two sleepers in here. Obviously, the furnaces are on. It's not a bad looking box. Jackhammer, need that. Charcoal's always good. A couple thousand sulfur. A SAR. Damn, I am really a bum this wipe. That's crazy, huh? It's alright. How was there three guys in here and there that was a key lock? <laughs> what? Dude, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask questions. Let me chop these bags. I think two jackhammers in here, actually. Yeah, we got two. Okay, cool. You know what? We take that. And we got a tier two. Definitely worth it for what we spent. I guess I gotta bring this stuff back to my base and this might just be where the wipe turns around team all right i'm probably gonna try and get out of here before the base owner gets back and realizes he just got raided poor guy feel kind of bad but it's uh it is rust i suppose i also have to be quick because if he realizes he's been raided he might shut that door it's not a bad haul, actually. With this amount of sulfur, if I just get a tier 3 workbench real fast, I might have enough to make two more rockets. And uh, we can go raid that other more lucrative, potentially looking base by oil. And I got my low grade back from when I died trying to take Heli. I'm still salty about that as fuck. Cool. Tier 2. You know what? It's the small things when you're solo. I was kind of worried about these guys. I thought these guys were going to be formidable opponents, but actually I... I think they were just boneheads. I figured they lived in the cave. Because there's a cave right there. They might still live in it. But I am not worried about them. For obvious reasons. If that is my competition, I think I'm okay. These guys are what we call crap collectors. Except I kind of need crap, so I'll take it. Okay. Well, we're kind of back on our feet now. Which makes me happy. I'm pretty sure, uh, solar panels. I don't think the trees make a difference. I'm, I don't know. That, I might need a rust trition to, to uh, help me, or like, tell, correct me if I'm wrong, but... I'm pretty sure I could place like a solar panel inside a tree and it still gets power for some reason. This is a good haul of stuff. I've transferred over everything. Now I just really want to work on getting 
a tier three so we can raid that other base or whatever the that oil rig base all i need is like two rockets probably not even Let's see what i have in terms of components i honestly might even have enough to make two rockets in this base already but i do not have shit for components what about scrap okay i'm 900 scrap actually i'm only 300 short from a tier three i think i'm just gonna farm it it should be really fast Ooh, large battery. That's actually hella helpful. Did I kill him with that? Why did he shoot me? I feel like... No, I did not kill him with that. I might push. It's kind of dumb. But he's got scrap and I need that. I gotta turn this wipe around PvP wise, like, you know, need to come up. I think he had a rocket launcher. Oh, dude, is oh, that was like a graphic fall. That was like some shit from a movie. Uh, he did not have a rocket launcher. He had a mace. Um, you know what? I'll just take the whole kit. I need clothes. I don't know why. Like, why would you shoot? This should be enough scrap on me for that tier three. I think we have enough mats of base two, so we're, we're good. Our wipe is getting started, team. Fuck, it's been a rough one up until this point. It's actually like, I'm playing for like, probably like five hours almost and feel like i've made like five percent progress but like i said it, it happens sometimes you guys don't usually see it but i kind of want to switch it up for this video i, I want to see what you guys think because I, I always get comments and people say they love the progression they like seeing you fail well not fail but you know but then I get like other comments where people like get so upset when I die in this game for some reason. And like if I like, I bet you there's going to be some people that are mad that I died at like taking Heli. And, but like actually mad, you know, I'm talking like hate commenters. Um, they get like loot parasocial or something. Wait, that mini is coming directly to me. He has a rocket launcher, but I'm not going to kill him. I needed to hit a headshot or some crazy shit like that. Unfortunate. All right, I'm going to go make my tier three and let's get these rockets cooking. He was kind of flying towards the direction of the, uh, that base I want to raid, but I don't think, I don't think he's going for it. I, I think, I think he's raiding something else or some transferring probably if only i still had that ak actually god damn it dude oh my god that fucking guy got so lucky okay we have enough for a tier three vital moment very large I definitely think that guy's just transferring loot. I wonder where. Wait, is he? Wait. He just landed his mini on that roof. I do have ladder BP, but I definitely don't have rope. I definitely do not have rope. I mean, I could just see if I could build up there. Ooh, cargo just came out too. I'm gonna see if I could build up on that roof. Maybe take as many. Claim it as my own. I should get a turret set up though. I mean, if I have to, or at least like a mini base. 
Once again, I have no meds. The fuck am I doing? Like, oh, I see. He landed the minion there. Shit. I might go to that raid. Oh my god, dude. Dude, that TC is right there. Alright, I guess we're not going to go to that rocket raid. Let me just lock in and make some rockets. What the hell am I doing? Oh my god. Three pure Ortiz is crazy. I don't even... That's like a massive come up, actually. All right, it's about to turn night, so I'm gonna craft as much as I can. And whether it's night or day, I'm gonna go raid immediately as soon as I have the three rockets ready. It's kind of nice living in a forest that's pretty dense. I don't even think, I bet you there's denser forests we can do this in too, uh, for another wipe. And, uh,. I don't really have to worry about, like, my base getting found. I kind of really enjoy that. I just kind of, like, horse over to my house. Okay, all I need is a thousand gunpowder. Yeah, I'll have enough for two rockets, guaranteed. Guess we don't have much use for you anymore, man. The come up is real, dude. Let's go. Okay, I think that's gonna make 20 explosives, which is enough for two rockets. I just need 100 more gunpowder and the pipes, and we're good. I'll go fly over there. What a wipe, man. What a wipe. We're killing it. All right, I ran out of storage space while I was crafting, but we got three rockets. Who cares? Who gives a shit? We have three rockets and a dream to get a lot of loot. That's all. Three rockets and a dream. We're going to head to the sun and get some money. It's going to happen. This base is going to be loaded, I bet. Well... I think, honestly, I think. Garage doors right next to oil. Kind of in a hidden spot, too. Only... Oh, that has Sam's on it. Only worry I have is that he only had a tier 2. So, he probably doesn't have boom profit, but honestly, I'll take literally anything I can get because I'm so fucking broke right now. Well, it's, it's, it's better. At least we have a tier 3. But... I'll take any- if, if it's just guns or mats, I don't really care. I'll take it. I'll take any of it. I doubt anyone realized that that one door was unlocked, too. I don't believe he's logged in since- Alrighty. Here's hoping for good things. I think this is... There we go. Okay. Wait, that's actually a good sign. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh. Dude, what? No. Dude. Oh, I'm actually hype as fuck. Um. Okay, why, why was the food box locked? Yeah, this guy was an oiler. In every sense of the word. Um. God damn, dude. And we got an AK again. Guys. Guys. We're back. We've never been back this much. We're so back. Until I lose it all to some fucking guy hiding in a corner again. 
but uh kind of on a larger problem i don't i guess i could code lock i don't really have any way to seal this but god dude yeah this guy would what the fuck is this that's a i don't what is that that's pretty nuts that's definitely profit that's for sure Comps box looking nice. This is all looking nice, man. Ooh, that is hype. I have to use uh, code locks since I don't have key locks, but... Yeah, we're going to have to do multiple trips. That's for sure. That is profit like crazy, dude. Three rockets for like two lines of sulfur? Okay. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I think we should probably just start by getting the sulfur out of here first. That's the most important thing I care about. And the rest of it, we can get later. Right, let's just hope no one's outside. Damn, dude, what a find. There's no TC in there, but it's fine. He didn't have any wood. I should not count my winnings before I cash out. AKA get in base. So I'm not going to do that, but that straight up looks like some fucking hacker loot. What the fuck is that? That guy had like some bozo, like the box of attachments. I don't even get that's like from Heli or Bradley. Maybe he did have like a line of, I don't know. That guy must have been an avid oil rig runner or Heli taker. Maybe I'm so glad that worked out. Ooh. It's more than two lines of sulfur. It's almost three. Holy shit. Oh, no. If I'm getting camped right now... Oh. Well, in... In bad news... I... Dude, let me get inside. I think the horse outside my base got stolen. Oh, my God, dude. Nice. Ooh. Come up alert. Big time. Get ready to do another raid at some point. What a nice come up. Probably a good time to do this too. You know, sort of fortify things. Because uh, we kind of have something to lose now. I think I need a spray can to change the color of the uh, of the paint. Or of the metal. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I feel like you should be able to do this to any material. It shouldn't be just metal. Guys, this might be a dumbass question. How do you get rug BP? Is it a tier one? So I'm look. I don't like. It's not even under tier one. It must be, but I'll go run to my neighbor's house and check. Oh, I'm so hyped that raid worked out well. Usually, I don't like care about loot or like you know. I don't really care, but I needed that raid to work out. I needed that. And I got it. It's my second home. A five health front door, dude. All right, let's see. Okay. I need 40 more scrap for a rug. God, this gun box goes crazy. All right, we're gonna have to do like seven more transfers, so I'm probably not gonna 
really record that because it's really just boring. But damn, dude, there's so much loot. I'm hyped. These pipes are good. Like we're gonna be raiding again really soon. I gotta. I don't know. I don't know what else to raid at the moment. I think I probably have enough for like ten or so rockets. I think probably a little, slightly. Nah, like ten rockets. I don't really know. But uh, either way, we can we can maybe parlay it into a loaded raid potentially. Uh, there's a mini going to Smoil. It's a solo, but I kind of want to counter. I know this is kind of really dumb. Honestly, I get it, but I'm itching for some PvP. I'm itching to win. That's what. I'm itching to win for once. And I think I can. Not with 500 cloth on me, though. I think I can. This sounds like a good idea. I need some cards anyways. I'm just coping. Honestly, I just... Yeah, I'm coping. I just want to gamble. So I'm going to gamble with my rust loot instead. I just have to do it in a smart way. It's a smart gamble. I just want to not lose a fight today. You know what I mean? I'd like to win one fight. Is that too much to ask? Oh my god. Okay, he's got an M39. I don't think he's too well equipped for this. Dude. I need to know where he is. I think he's inside the room. Yeah, he is. Come on, bro. <laughs> GG's, man. GG's. I'm sorry. I get the feeling. I get it. Wait, I didn't get his M39. Aw, oh, he just got these cards too. Look, man. We had to make some money, that's all. Nothing personal. At least I've won one 1v1 one, one today. How pathetic is that? Satchel. That's depressing to think about, but you know what? Things are turning around. I think I'm gonna finish this oil for him. I mean, look, he gave me the cards. Things are, I think I've said this before, things are turning around. Not a bad haul. Not a bad haul whatsoever. C4 GL will take it. And hopefully the crate's equally as good. This has just been an oil rig wipe. I was supposed to build a forest base, but I ended up just living in the water. What's with that? Well, we'll see what we get out of the crate. Hopefully it's good. You know, I'm feeling jolly today. I can't take two minis. I have no use for that. So I'm going to leave my old one on the helipad for somebody to hopefully take. I'll even leave 100 low grade in it. Oh, maybe that guy will just come get it back. I don't know. I, I can't take two. I'm kind of too lazy to go, like, back to base and get a boat. Come on here. It'll probably be gone by then. So, 
you know what? We'll leave it. And just hope that the crate makes up for it. 11 minutes left. We actually have a good amount of MLRS too. I think we're at like up to eight. Give us a good crate. Okay. Now, now I don't want to be a complaining Andy here. But all of a sudden, I, I hit a good raid. And then... And then I get crates like this. Now I'm thankful. I certainly am. But why? Why does it have to be that way? I could have used that crate like five crates ago, bruh. It's alright. We got 2C4. That's a come up. That's enough for a raid in and within itself. Some other stuff. So we'll take that. I'm going to take that dub. It's turning nighttime. We'll fly home. I think it's time for us to do one of two things. Either craft out the base. I want to honeycomb it. And I want to add turrets onto it. And then it's like a proper forest house. Oh, and some rugs. Or we could go raid. And I'm not going to lie, raiding sounds more interesting. But I might just see... I, I need to set up turrets. That I need to do that first. And then upgrading the base is easy because I could get large furnaces and stuff. So, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up turrets first. We have two. I just, and windmill, and battery. I, I just forgot how to set up turrets. I think I, I kind of remember though, Okay. I'll try. Oh, perfect landing. I can see in the game once again. And it is time to begin. The camouflage Asian of my home and make it even better than it already was. Nice. It'll be nicely hidden, actually. The goat. Very cool. Very exciting. Dude, the green on green's got like a sick... Dude, that looks cool. That looks super cool. Get some rugs inside for some comfort. Oh, yeah. Look at this. What a come up raid that was. I mean, this is kind of our current loot tour. We're doing pretty good. Oh, my furnaces are out. We're doing pretty good for ourselves. I've got to say. I think it's time we scout for another raid, probably. I don't know how advanced I really need to make this base. I guess it kind of depends how this next raid goes, but so far, like, just with how the wipe is turning around, so to speak, I don't know, man. We might not have a big need for turrets and large furnaces and all that. It all kind of depends. Also, I'm kind of worried about space. I don't know. I don't know if we have space for that. I'm going to go ahead and look for a raid. I'll clock in and let you guys know if I see anything. I mean, I'm thinking of just looking in the snow. Like a solid snow spot. I do have that 2C4, so. Got an airdrop. Hold up. Unlooted airdrop moment. Right next to the Yagi Bear. Hello, buddy. So we're looking for something that's close to a monument, but kind of hidden. So they have like a recycler and all that. Kind of like this little 2 by one but... Not too inspired by that. The problem is when you play a server mid wipe, like all everybody always goes for the snow bases. We've got a large village, probably. Do they not have turrets on that base? Like I don't see any power. I don't think they do, dude. What? They're doing Dave Towers, bruh. 
They've actually invented that meta. I wonder if I have enough for this. I mean, I kind of doubt it. Bases like this are expensive, man. They got armored door on their tugboat. Armored TCs. Oh my god, dude. But look at those mixing tape. Dude, this thing's loaded. Why do they not have turrets, I wonder? I want to see if I could get in the compound. Oh, wait, they left the door open. I mean... You know this thing is loaded, man. It's all up in the snow like this. I wonder if I have enough, like, if I can... You know. But it, it looks like it's gonna be all armored doors. I bet you there's a bunker in there, too. I think I could get in there if I have some ladders. I might come back with some ladders, actually. I'm pretty sure I could get inside that, like, wall thing if I have some ladders. They have a farm, too. I'm telling you, I think they got cheese. I think these guys have mad cheese. And I wonder if I can eco-rate it or get lucky. Doesn't seem like they're online. That'd be a good come up. Make ladders, bring wood, we'll be good. All right, I'm making five ladders. Should, should be enough. I guess we'll see. Oh. Someone just got MLRS nuked right next to me. Hold up. Um, I need a silencer. All right, it was like straight south. There's a mini flying there. Ellie spawned, but I don't think I'm going to get this one. Because those MLRS. I just came across this lock the box in the woods. Yippee. Problem is, I just don't know where those MLRS hit at all. I saw the mini flying in this direction, but I haven't heard a rocket or anything. Yeah, it is that base. It is. Okay. Interesting. I, I might have a chance at winning this. It kind of just depends, though. Oh, they're double launcher. I don't know where I should fight them from. Do they have a raid base? Okay. It is multi-TC. I'm gonna go up this hill, I think. I think there's probably three or four, especially if they're double launch. I only have 45 bullets. I can probably do something with that though. Maybe they left someone posted up on this hill. Kind of doubt it, but one of them's MP5. I might just, I don't know. I just fucking tripled that guy. I think... I think the last guy's in there. Okay, where the fuck did that guy come from? I'm pretty sure there's still one more though. I think he's down where that ladder goes down. The 
saw these guys in outpost. Stash that. I'm like 99% sure there's still one more somewhere in here. I just don't quite know where. I don't know, I'm not liking this. Oh my fucking god. I mean, I am gonna get greedy, but I'm gonna stash it first, you know what I'm saying? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. They're beginning to multiply. Oh! Fuck. No, okay. All right, well, I stashed the rockets. Oh my God, look at that MP5 right there. What if I stand up? Oh, okay. I'm not out of the game. I mean, I, dude, if they don't find those rockets, I'm really hoping they don't. That's such a come up, dude. Free line of rockets. I'm hoping they don't find it, man. That would kind of suck if they did, but I get it. It's it's not an obvious spot to look, though. Because I didn't even put it near the bag. I put it in a different bush, so... It is not obvious. I might try and go for that AK guy I killed. So I don't know if he was with them or not. Or maybe I should try and go for that MP5 that was on the floor? I don't really know. They're obviously looking for the rockets. I think they're gonna be looking for a little bit. They might find them though. If they look hard enough, they might find them. I know that sounds kind of dumb, but. They sees me. Don't know. They're probably gonna go back to get more rockets. I'm gonna run back from base again. I definitely think they live in this snow cave. Which, uh... Which is fine. I think I'm gonna just bring back another full... Well, as full of a kit as I can. Good god, this is scuffed, but... Hey. You gotta do what you gotta do to make it, you know? They're probably going to leave someone up on that hill, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure the other person, whoever I killed, didn't have rockets on him. Because I feel like they would have kept rocketing, so I think I killed and looted the only rocketer. Maybe. I'm assuming. I could be wrong. I don't even want to go near my stash, though. I don't even want to go near it. There's an AK guy up that hill now. They they wisened up a little bit. I really hope they don't find that stash, dude. That could be a come up and a half, you know what I'm saying? I might just go unsilenced for now. Is that guy in the white coat still above me? I don't think they found my stash. All right. I'm gonna run. Oh my God, that fucking, those rocks, dude. I think he just shot his teammate. I'm gonna run and get this in a bush. So that I've got 
another kit to fall back on. Same thing. The life of a solo, man. Get a kit, put it in a bush. This is kind of funny. This is fucking hilarious. I just, dude, I'm praying they don't find those rockets, man. Shit. I knew there was still one more with an MP5. Question is, are there still, oh yeah. Still more people hanging around. And I guess the answer is yes. Fucking naked warriors, dude. I think I'll go put this in my bush. I think they're just looking for me at this point. They probably want to know where I live, or maybe I, they're hoping I lead them to the rockets, but I'm not going to go anywhere near them. Or close enough, anyways, you know. I want to go check out the base they raided, see how far they actually got. I wonder if they got any loot. I wonder if they pulled any out. Let me. Which bush was it? I think it was that one. Either way, I don't see a stash, so. I will not be. I think I'm gonna leave that stash there for like 20 minutes. Yeah, they did not. They did not get in this base. Because they did not have boom. It is turning night. So maybe if I hang in the area for a little bit, I could try and pull the rockets out while it's completely dark. Kind of risky, but it might be the best move. I'm pretty sure I saw this guy in Outpost or something. Or, I don't know. I've definitely, like, seen that name, so. It does not seem like they're coming back. That or they have a very devious plan. I don't really like where I stash the rockets. It's back with the pistol. I think he was just shooting. I'm pretty sure I just jacked all their rockets that they had. I mean, they did have some C4, but I think I lost one or two C4. I'm sure they found that one that I threw. Yeah, they did. But that's fine. That's not even... Nah, I don't even give a shit about that. There actually is a horse here. This is gonna be my getaway vehicle. Where did his gun go? I don't know what I should do. Because I, I worry that they're gonna... I'm gonna get jumped while I get those rockets, you know? 
All I want to do is grab the rockets and leave. I'm not even going to grab the other kits and stuff. I could come back for those later. But I think... I think they have a funny feeling about why I'm hanging around. I think it's time, though. I really hope this isn't stupid. I honestly don't even remember what bush I put the rockets in. I think it was this one. Was it not this one right here? Yep. I'm gone. Never to be seen again. I really hope this isn't stupid. Get me on this fucking horse. Fuck you, pig. Get me the fuck up out of here. Dude, get out of here. Go, go, go. Oh. Now, you want to talk about a come up? This is a real life come up right there. And I bet you they're going to co go back and finish that raid too. So the moment I hear rockets over there... I might just leave those kits there, and then when they start raiding again, I just go back. Who knows how long it's gonna take them to start raiding. I, I have a feeling they, it's, they're gonna probably do what I did, except the opposite. They're gonna wait like an hour or two to raid after that, which I don't really blame them. But I stashed those AK kits pretty well, so I don't think they'll be found. Huge come up. Now I don't gotta craft rockets. I'm not gonna lie, that was what I wanted to do the least. Damn, that is not bad. I'm very satisfied with that take. For once, I actually, like, didn't flumble. I just made up a new word, but it's true. I did all right. I lost a, a full kit and 2C4, but I didn't really lose that because it was not mine to begin with. Walked out with more full kits, potentially, and a bunch of rockets. So we call that a dub. But they're probably going to be looking for my house. This is probably worth a raid. I imagine. Oh my god! That guy's just chilling in there. I don't even know if I should bring a gun back to that, but I guess I might. Dude, that scared the shit out of me. I guess they were looking for me after all. It's a good thing. I got out probably at the perfect time. Well, as I was saying, that's probably worth a raid finish, but I think the moment I bring those rockets over, I'm going to get fucking shot up. So it might not be the move. I wonder if he left or if he's still in there. Yeah, I'm got, I got like five star wanted level right now. What do you think they're typing in chat? Let's just give them like a GG and see if they say anything. I've got to live over here. That or they live or wait. Oh, the Dino Queen and then this shop's name is the Dino Emporium. I think I found where they live. Yeah, they, they live in this, they live in like a goaded cliff base. Like these guys took a cliff base and upgraded. I could just sit here and watch their base. Wait for that, like, once they head out again, you know, go back. Probably just F1 kill, grab a full kit. Okay, I've been sitting here for a little bit. I've heard nothing. And seen nothing. So I assume... I don't know what I assume. I'm kind of worried, I don't know. <laughs> I think... I think I should just fly around and uh, look for like a base to raid. 
now that I have like 20 rockets or whatever close to I think I need to get this horse away from my base like come on man jeez my mini's still here I need you to loiter there and stay there I think we'll be okay oh yeah you know what we were doing in the first place was looking at that base in the snow. Why don't I go back and do that? I, for I totally forgot about that. That's why I had these ladders. I don't know if I should take my only nice kit there, though. I don't think I'm going to do that. Alright, let's head over there. I completely forgot about that. I wonder if I missed any rockets. I, I I asked him in chat. I said, did I miss any rockets? Yeah, he wanted to know where I put them. I told him it was in a bush. I said, did I miss any rockets? And he hasn't answered me. I've asked him like three times. So that either means I missed rockets or they don't have rockets. But I feel like that clan, like they must. I think I literally bought a gun from them. Or no, I bought it from the cave. I'm cooked. It is currently four in the morning. So my apologies, my dearest apologies. But actually with a line of rockets, I could potentially raid this snow base. I think if I crafted up everything I had, plus the rockets and everything else, I think I could do it. And I actually have like a decent strike of MLRS too. I have like eight or seven so that could do some damage they don't have sam sites for some reason i don't know how that's maybe a bad sign though if they don't have turrets or windmills or anything like does that just mean that they just don't have any components they obviously have a shitload of stone I think I could get that out. Um, I guess. Do I just start? Get all those boxes. They're all fucking locked. Are you kidding me? I mean, if I was going to blow this, I, I do wonder why that's high qual. Probably honeycomb. Maybe. I don't know. If I was going to blow this, I'm not too sure where I would. Oh, I got all their rockets. Okay, I guess I got all their boom. Let's go in the other side. I assume it's all going to be probably still locked. I feel like if if I was going to blow... I don't know. I was going to say that right there is a weakness, but... Maybe I should just go home and craft up what I can. What kind of footprint is this? I guess that matters. It might... I might just have to go through doors. Oh, fuck. No, no, I'm getting bounced. We might be down a mini. Uh, nope, we're good. Oh my god, dude. Jeez. Just a two by one. Hmm. I might just bring some rockets over. I mean, I'm... I just don't know if I should go through doors or if I should go through, like... I have a feeling it's an up and around. Or some weird... I don't know. I feel like this is some weird shit. Maybe I should check that. I wish there was a better fucking spot to land this thing in here. Oh. Okay. Oh, it kicked me out. And... That is potentially savable but to be honest i'm not gonna hold my breath and i definitely do not have 
750 scrap in my house. There's a half wall right there. You can see you can see my square clipping onto that. I think I should go inside there on that side and uh, take a look. Because maybe I could just 16 rocket in there. Well, that, that might be where to 16 rocket if there's a half wall. So I think, I think I'm just going to do that. It's kind of really risky. But what is life if you don't take a little bit of risk every now and then? Make myself a bit of a better heli landing pad if I can save this thing. This is going to be brutal. Please don't kick me out. Mm, uh. <gasps> that's why he's the goat. All right. Oh, they have a turret on that base too. Interesting. I say fuck it. it it's risky. It's risky. It's risky, but I... I think we just send it. What if I could convince the guys I stole the rockets from to like, if I run out of boom, I'll be like, I'll just give you all the loot from this raid. If you just help me out. I don't even want loot. I just, I just want to see the loot, you know? What if I like get them in on it? They already lost all their shit. So like, you know, kind of might as well just do it. I feel like I should send a round of MLRS. I hate that I just fucking flew all that way and like didn't mark it like an idiot, but sending a round of MLRS wouldn't be the worst idea. Well, there goes the mini. Uh, I think I do have the comps for another mini. I forgot I raided that loaded ass base. It doesn't help, but uh, it's fine. Pit of flames, stupid dumbass. All right, bonehead pilot 73 here. Got enough scrap. All right. Let's try again. They have a scrap heli in there. Heli yard. Question is, can I get back up here? See, that doesn't have a half wall on it. All right, I think it's turning nighttime, but I'm gonna send the MLRS strike. So that way I can get a bit of a better look at things. Alrighty, we got this thing dialed in. Ready to go. Shot off eight, we'll see. Uh, I'm hoping. That does something, gets us somewhere, anywhere. I'll take whatever it gives us. Let's go check on the damage. Not bad. I have a little landing spot for my heli now. Oh, I broke open the window. Oh. Melting. They're smelting sulfur, actually. Guys, this base freaks me out. See, so there's, like... Some very bizarre... Half wall there. 
So I think I'll blow that. I don't know. I hope it's not dumb. It's, I have a bad feeling it might be dumb. Like, if Llama was here, he'd probably yell at me and call me stupid right now. But, uh... I guess I'm gonna go for it. I mean, look. The rockets were free. If it ends up being a waste... At least I didn't pay for it. I got everything loaded up. Actually, exactly a line of rockets. Because I still had one line left over. I haven't crafted anything up yet. I guess we'll see if that is gonna have to be the case. We'll see. The MLRS did some damage. I'm really hoping that I get lucky. I have a feeling I'm going to hit another high qual wall and be very sad. And then I don't have to sit there and fucking craft, probably. I, you know, I should have just crafted, but whatever. Well, I, who gives a fuck? <clears throat> Sorry. It is five in the morning. The only thing I can think about is, like, Chick-fil-A breakfast right now. But then I like, I don't know if I'm going to stay up late enough to get Chick-fil-A breakfast. And then if I eat the Chick-fil-A breakfast, I'm going to get energy from eating that shit. So then I'm not going to want to go to bed. Yeah, it's a cycle, guys. It's a Rust content creator cycle. We're about to kill this raid, though. I have a feeling we're about to murder this raid. How many? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 rockets... Two C4, four satchels. It's something, you know, it's, um... This is too good of a raid to pass up, dude. No turrets on this thing? I mean, come on. You gotta take a look. Hopefully it's worth it. I like that the island's fully compounded, so I'm not gonna get countered by, like, randoms. Or I shouldn't. Here's hoping this goes well. I should probably place a bag first. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they have a farm is a good sign. And they have a scrap heli right there. You can see the blades through it. That's another good sign. I mean, these guys have loot. I don't... Like, you have a fully set up farm, but no turrets. But you have turrets on another base, you know? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I wonder if I should blow this side. Hmm. No. I don't think so. What even is that room? What is that? I think we gotta hit the crafting table. Wait. Oh my god, it's pixel gapped. Are you fucking kidding me? No shot. Ugh. The goat! Please. Please, rockets. Oh no, dude, the empty pixel gaps, that's great. That that instills confidence. Alright. Oh, fuck. Okay, god damn it. Oh. oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, god. That's like... That's a lot of cheese. Okay. Not really, not loaded on the guns part of thing, but that's fine. I think we will make do with this. So the question, the million dollar question is, do they have more in the bunker? Or rather, in their main base. Also, the other, yeah, I don't think this is a double pixel gap or whatever. Damn. I... I, that might have, well, it was profit, because I didn't fucking, wasn't even my boom to begin with. I think rocket-wise, that was probably profit, I bet. Two lines of GP. It's a good feeling. I'm so fried right now, but that's nice. We like that. Hold on, I have more adult Lunchables in my fridge. I might just uh, cop one of those. Oh, shit. God damn, son. I'm hyped. That is, uh... Dude, I... Honestly, if I didn't blow that, I would have had no... Like, I wouldn't have checked for pixel gaps. That's, well, that's what Llama does, dude. That's, like, he's supposed to do that. I just feel like people keep all their main loot in the pixel gaps. And, like, they don't... 
to buy, like, I, I didn't really get guns. I guess I got AKs, a couple, and a bolt. But I didn't get a whole lot. So I, they could have more, but they also might not. I think for the fun of it, I should at least blow into the, the core. I feel like that'd just be fun. Because I don't really have anything else I really want to raid. I remember there was that clan up north, but I'll be honest. My, my interest in raiding them is not really that high. Yeah, the problem with this base is landing a mini. Like, I think I'd like to do a base like this, but do it actually, like, really well. Obviously, like, don't get me wrong. This is a hidden base. It's a hidden forest base, but I'd like to actually do it very properly and like like the one we saw a few videos ago if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm referencing those guys had like a whole ass roof like they had all this shit so they could land minis but their base was still hidden it was actually like so cool oh i think they're raiding again hold on time to troll No, they're raiding. Someone's raiding something else. I don't know if it's the same guys. I probably should, like, now is not the time to do get distracted, but... I'm telling you, I think I got most of the loot out of that snow base. So even if they logged on and sealed, it's fine. I think it was this cave. Otherwise, it's something in the forest. I, the cave's not that cheap, though. I don't think it was in here. I should just get back to what I was up to. That would be the smart thing to do. All right, I'm crafting 16 rockets worth of explosives, and we should have enough. I am fucking cooked right now, so my, my bad team, but uh, we're seeing it through. We're going to raid into the core of that base, even though, you know, if I was a betting man, I don't think it'd be profit, but let's see. Alright, I think all the explosives are done. 13 rockets, there should be. Yep, 13, 15, 16 rockets. And I still have 2C4 in case we want to explore that base further, but probably not. I guess we'll fly over there and finish it off with the swift final kick to the core. I don't even know why I just said that. I, I, you know, let me, I just got adult Lunchables. I'm happy. I'm going to eat these things. I, I don't know if, if they're expired though. It's fine. All right. We're here. PC. There it is. Any boom.
This is about what I thought would happen. Damn. Oh my god. Well, actually, I take that back. It's for some. It's just more. God damn, man. I guess I gotta make a couple more trips. Damn. What? Is C4 only three a stack now or something? Is that like new? Um. <clears throat> All right. So, check it out. Here's the final loot tour for today. Today started off so bad, but actually turned around goaded. Ammo, extra guns, junk, metal and sulfur overflow, materials, kind of more materials, armor, eh. sulfur, we got like half a box of sulfur, I think. Yeah, about half a box of sulfur, roughly. Coming in here. Yeah, we got toolbox two three pure ortiz we got the other gun box goaded components box bunch of pipes very nice and then more boom just a line and a half of c4 or of, of c4 a line and oh yeah a line and some change of gunpowder almost another line of sulfur blah 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 you guys can see a uh, bunch of high quality tc we're loaded my point is we're loaded okay we're doing good and watch this let me show you a blaze rush oh no hmm. we're gonna have to get creative with this one let me show you a blaze rust strategy i'm gonna fake brief my base so that i hopefully don't get raided now who knows what the odds are of actually not getting raided. Oh. Uh. Okay. Well, that wasn't really meant to be... That wasn't meant to be stoned. But who knows what the odds are of not getting raided. Um, I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm not going to rely on it. But we'll see. Hopefully we don't get raided. It, honestly, it usually never fails. I guess we'll see if we survive the night. And uh, if we do, it may be a fun day tomorrow. I think we'll do some raiding. We'll do some more pillaging. As far as who to raid, um, I don't really know. I don't, I, I don't really have anyone in mind. And I have a lot of rockets worth of stuff. So... I don't know. We could take a look. I'll probably do a raid and finish up on the server because I am going to go to uh, Florida in a couple days. Just for a few days. But So I'm going to be gone. So this wipe will likely end. But um, that's okay. I'll see you guys in the morning. If the video ends here, I'm raided. Good night. Alrighty, team. I've crafted up as much as I can. Rockets wise, we're working with like 14, 15. Expo ammo wise, we're working with a lot. Uh, I couldn't craft everything into rockets because I don't have charcoal, but that's pretty much all we have left. So I think what I'm gonna do is fly around and look for a raid. I wanna go check on that clan that was up north that took heli yesterday. By the way, I, I uh, went to bed and woke up and I wasn't raided. Uh, so I pretty much have just... Really? I pretty much have just been crafting all day. No, no, I mean, you know, the whole time I've been on. It's been, uh, yeah. It's been a short day of rust. But, I'm gonna go check out this clan based in the north. I know last night I said I didn't really care to raid it. I certainly didn't care to raid it last night, but... Today we might as well check it out. Wait, aren't those guys... Isn't that what I raided yesterday? The, like, come up raid? I don't remember exactly where it was. I think it was around here, though. 
It kind of depends what their base is looking like now. They got raided. They just got raided. Okay. You know what? Hold on. I think those are the guys I raided last night. In the snow. I'm pretty sure that was them because they rebuilt. Okay. Well, I guess I won't be raiding them. See, now I just don't have anyone else to raid. I mean, it'd be kind of funny if I raided the guys from last night again. But it'd be... I'd lose. Assuming it's them, I'm gonna go fly over and check. See if there's scrap helis in... Inside their, uh... Compound. Maybe I could hit them with a nice roam raid. Based 1v5 roam raid. Probably not. You know what? I also just realized I don't even have another 5.5 gun to shoot all this expo ammo with. So I'm gonna have to do that. Let's see if that scrap heli's here. It is. Well, these guys were online earlier. All their furnaces were on. I don't really care to re-raid them too much, though. I think if they, they go through the effort to rebuild, I think they deserve to, you know, continue forth. Oh, there's a camper van, dude. Look at that. It's the cave, guys. That thing might be money. That could be money. I wish I knew where some decent bases were. For my budget. I mean, I don't really... I could try and raid my neighbors. These guys... I probably have enough. The question is, are they online? Do they? I don't think they have turrets on their roof. Yeah, they don't have turrets on their roof. I guess I'm just gonna raid this. I'm gonna 2C4 down here. These are my competing forest neighbors. And I can, dude, the C4 won't stack. It's like bugged. Oh my god, dude, it's another stone floor. Something tells me we're going to have some leftovers after this. Oh my god. We are already in loot. I don't even know. I, didn't, I don't even have ladders. Like... Alright. Well, we got TC. Oh god, dude. These guys have bum-ass loot. No chance. That is bum ass loot. And a key locked DC, dude. Oh no. This loot better get better quickly. I think we're gonna have leftover stuff too. Bruh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of here. Oh, they do have- Oh my god. There is a loot room up here. This base is actually my worst nightmare. Not a single person sleeping. We got a C4. How do you get like a tier 3 and all this shit? And you have nothing. How does that happen? And how am I supposed to get out of here? 
Okay. Well, guys. I don't think this raid was very profitable, dude. They got two bean cans in there. What the fuck are they doing? Oh my god, dude. It's not even multi-TC. Alright, I'm getting up out of here. We got seven rockets left and like a hundred lines of expo. These guys are probably loaded. Oh, fuck. Question is, do they have turrets on all sides? I see a turret on the roof that's off. I might just send it on this base. There's like a turret that's off on the roof for some reason. Oh my god, dude, 700 low grade in the refinery. I don't know what I'm what I'm supposed to go through. Hmm. I think that shop front. We're right next to outpost, so odds we get countered are pretty high. leave anything in their front boxes. Now I'm left raiding with only expo ammo. I mean, they had 700 low grade in their refinery. Oh. Oh god. Okay, so those are beds and lockers. Which I don't think we really care about. It is... Oh my god, dude, there's 500 low grade in the fucking flame trap. Um... Dude, what is that AK skin? That's hard. I'm pretty sure I have enough expo ammo to just blow all the way down. Okay. Oh, we got the way down. Alright, I just say we keep going this way. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about gun durability now. Steve. All ore to smell into barrel. Okay. So the question is... Should we just go into the armor now? I don't even think I have enough though is the only issue. Alrighty team, what we have here is called a problem, that's 4 damage per shot, and I'm too lazy to go back to base to get a new gun, so this is where we'll be for a while. I'm really hoping that's a loot room. Dude, what is this some, some fucking ritual shit? What the fuck? More expo ammo. What the fuck is that? 
Unfortunately, we flew into the fucking swim scuba loot room. Okay, that's another loot room. That's probably workbench, and it looks like a battery, too. So, there's wires going in there. If I can just get some good health guns, I have enough to raid all of these, or at least those two for sure. I think all of them. I think all three. All right. We're about to be into TC. Oh yeah. Comps? I'm upset. You know that? A gun. You, like... First off, this is a bad sign. Like, no gun in here? Well, at least I got tool covered. I guess. All right, we're sealed in. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave all the explo here. I'm gonna go build up and pick up the SAM site so I can fly back peacefully. Yeah, the turrets don't even have guns in them. They're not even wired up. Seems to me like that's a relatively bad sign. Alrighty. Alrighty. I I think they despawned. Or not. I do what is this? Yeah, I think they despawned. <laughs> Good thing they have the pumpkin fridge, man. This raid was worth it. You know what? This is a finisher to a pretty awesome wipe, though. I must say. I've thoroughly enjoyed this experience. Let's get a good view. I've thoroughly enjoyed this experience. This has been actually one of the most fun solo webs I've played in a while. Usually they're pretty brutal and I just end up kind of quitting. But we actually got cheese on this one and it was a good time. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed. This has been a fun solo wipe we built a nice little hidden solo shack i want to upgrade it i want to do like i think we can expand on that idea i know I, I said i wanted to do turrets and stuff but honestly this wipe just kind of started to get too good for me to just build the base you know like there wasn't really i didn't have a huge need to build the base fully it didn't really you know it wouldn't have changed the wipe so why not get loot right but we did build a hidden solo shack. I want to upgrade it. We'll do it in a future video for sure. In the meantime, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to log out right here and hopefully someone will find my body one day. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Subscribe if you've enjoyed. It helps out the channel. Like the video. Goodbye, guys. Bye.